Hi, good morning. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2012 on a 12 plate a Vauxhall Vivaro 2 litre CDTI Sportive. This is the L1 short wheelbase with a H1 low roof. Uh, as you can see, it has a fairly substantial and expensive Rhino rack up there on the roof. Uh, if you don't want it on, we can remove it for you, but it is currently on the vehicle. Um, <clears throat> number of owners. I think it's two owners from you. Double check the advert. We will have detailed it on the advert. Uh, however, it's done 98,000 miles. There is no VAT to pay on this van. It's in overall really good condition for the age and the miles, okay? There's a few minor bits on it. I will point them out to you as, they go, as we go around. To be honest with you, um, I would class everything that is on it now as wear and tear. Uh, it, isn't, it isn't stuff that we would be looking at getting done on it. So, <clears throat> starting up there on the roof, as you can see, you've got that fairly substantial Rhino roof rack on it. All these Rhino roof racks, they charge you a fortune for them, but their powder coating shop needs to be taken outside and shot because um, they always get a bit of surface corrosion on them. Um, shame, because they're, they're a really good rack. Uh, windscreen, windscreen's all looking pretty good. I know it's wet here this morning, all right, but the windscreen... No substantial stone chips or damage that's going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time. We will be putting a fresh 12 months MOT on this vehicle before it goes out the door, as well as a full service as well. Bonnet wise, bonnet's all pretty good, okay? We have a few minor, we've got a little, couple of minor chips there, a couple of minor chips there, but there's nothing substantial in the way of damage on the bonnet of this thing, okay? Passenger light unit, that's all good. Passenger front bumper corner, that's all good with no scuffing or anything like that. Um, we have this really strange kind of stuff on the front bumper there, red stuff, oh, I don't know, but it's there, okay. Front fog light, that's all good. If we look down the passenger side of the vehicle, um, it's all pretty straight and tidy. We've got a small amount of damage on this arch here, okay, um, but on the whole, all pretty good. Um, Let's finish off the front end first, shall we? Driver side headlamp unit, that's all good. Driver side front bumper corner, that's all good with no scuffing. Front fog light here, again, all good. Again, looking down the driver side of the vehicle, there are no substantial damage to point out to you, all dents or dings. It's all quite straight and tidy, to be fair. <clears throat> now, wheels wise, we have factory alloy wheels. This particular one on this side is a Continental tyre. Um, there are elements <coughs> of marks on the alloy wheels, as you can see. Nothing substantial, nothing that you wouldn't expect for a vehicle of this age and miles. That tyre, driver's side, uh, is all pretty good. I'd suggest about five millimetres. Uh, when it comes to tyres, anything less than three millimetres we replace, okay? 1.6 millimetres being your legal limit, and um, seven to ten millimetres is a new tyre. Driver's side mirror unit, upper and lower, all good. Now this van has all of these things fitted. They are a camera system. I have no idea how it works. I have no idea how you see the images on them, but it's got them all everywhere. It's got them inside, it's got them on the back of it, around it. Yeah, they're there, okay. Um, driver's side door glass, that's all good. No sort of substantial damage or anything. A little bit of a ding there, as you can see. Nothing major. The door itself all pretty good. Your door handle and lock all good. Looking at your door edges on your driver's door, going down the door here, you can see no substantial damage. A little bit of wear and tear there, but nothing major. <coughs> Getting down low, looking at your sills. Your sills are all pretty straight and tidy, to be fair. Your plastic colour-coded Protection strips down the side of the vehicle are all pretty good. Driver's door one has a couple of minor marks there. I'm sure we can get a touch-up stick out there for you. Driver's side mid-quarter, all good. Driver's side rear-quarter, all good. Driver's side alloy wheel and tyre. We have a Nexon tyre. I'd say that's a budget tyre on there. That alloy wheel has some minor marks around the edges tire itself has a little bit of curb wear on it where it's just brushed up against the curb tire tread depths all looking pretty good i'd say four to five millimeters your 
driver's side uh, rear bumper corner. That's all good. We have a couple of minor marks here, okay? And a little bit of touching in to do there. Don't mind getting that sorted out on it for you. Light unit itself is all pretty good. No major damage on there. No water ingress or anything like that. Looking down the driver's side from this angle again, hopefully you can see. It looks a really bright van. Now we have just, because we're so far behind on our valeting, we've, this one's just come back from our detailers. Um, so he's put a real nice gloss polished finish to it. Rear barn doors, as you can see. Um, no major damage. We have had a little bit of paintwork done on the back here. So rear bumper and bumper corners were scuffed. So we've just had those painted. I've been thinking about putting this on as a loan van, to be honest with you. But there we go. Another rear camera, high level brake light. Bit of a touch in there on your door edge, but just go down the door edges on the back of the van here and they're all looking pretty good. Now this van does have additional security locks in the way of slam locks. So those are there. There's your door handle. There's your rear bumper. As you can see, that is lovely and fresh because we've had it painted. Uh, reverse lights, all good. And your reflectors, they're all good. Uh, let's look into the back of the vehicle. So, because it's slam locks, you have to, excuse me, I'm do it one-handed. <coughs> now, it arrived into us with no ply floor. So you might want to budget for a ply floor. We can always get somebody to fit that for you. Um, but it's plied on the sides. Uh, it was run by a window cleaner, basically, and he had a big water tank in the back here. Um, and I guess he just took the ply out of it spare wheel there the alloy wheel we can get that refitted to the vehicle that's not a major drama okay and then internally your rear doors i mean it's not had a hard life if i'm being completely honest with you you know paintwork wise if you have a look around your edges here yes there's signs of wear and tear but there's nothing major it certainly doesn't appear to you know, you know, the ones that have been worked just stand out a country mile, don't they? This this one looks pretty clean and tidy, to be fair, okay? Now, looking down the passenger side of the vehicle. Sorry, my video skills, not always great. Looking down the passenger side, pretty straight and tidy, okay? Again, bumper corners, as I say, we had the bumper corners and the rear bumper painted on it, so that's fresh paint on there, but just, tidies it up nicely upper quarter all good lower quarter all good your sliding door rail is all looking good your alloy wheel on this side has, has seen a bit of action so yeah that's a bit scuffed not looking great but you do have a good year tire on it and that tire has loads of tire tread depth by the looks of it as well so alloy wheel bit scuffed sliding door all looking pretty good another slam lock on there getting down low seals are looking all good now a couple of minor bits a little touching required there touching required there open up your sliding door obviously slam locked now it does have a little bit of seal damage there okay when you open up the sliding door what we will do is just get it all touched in for you all right Entry, his, uh, entry step is all good. Bulkhead doesn't appear to have had a hard life. That's all pretty good. That's just your um, toolkit that needs to go back inside. We've got a couple of, I don't know what these bits are, but we'll sort them out, okay? Um, just another viewpoint in the back of the van, really, from this angle. All looking pretty good. We have fuel filler here. Sliding door opens and closes fine. Passenger door, the door glass is all good. We have a couple of minor, minor dings here, as you can see. The mirror unit itself, upper and lower, are all good. Mirror covers are all good. Door handles here and here are good. Driver side, uh, sorry, passenger side front door. A couple of those little dings up top that we just pointed out to you. Probably another little touch in there by the looks of it. We can get that done on it. 
and then it has this little bit of damage here okay so again i think a bit of t-cut and a bit of touching in will probably um disguise most of that and then your passenger front wings all looking pretty good passenger front alloy wheel again minor curbing around the edges i think that tire scrap to be quite frank with you actually tired tread depth wise it's all right it's just gone on the outer wall there isn't it currently when i drive it there's just a little bit of wheel wobble on it so i suspect it probably needs tracking tires looking at there as well but as i say we'll put it through the workshop uh, passenger front door card clean and tidy as you can see electric window switches there look at your door shuts your door shuts are really clean and tidy entry seals all good flooring inside rubber flooring that's in great condition as well glove box opens up there's your towing eye stuff and locking wheel nuts in there but as you can see all pretty straight and tidy isn't it seats seat covers all clean and tidy really underneath your seats as you can see that's all good um bonnet port is just down here somewhere he says surely i've just had it open for why did it open for photos uh this looks good on a video doesn't it okay might be the other side i'll have to go and have a look um just quickly showing you here air conditioning all the central air conditioning all good has a warning light switch lost the cover on the top of it okay really common thing on them still works perfectly fine uh you just lost a little cover on the top of it you got a bluetooth phone bluetooth music uh stereo system with uh fm and am i don't think it's dab we'll double check that out in a second the other thing on the outside Vauxhall badge missing on the front we will not be replacing it because Vauxhall wants something ridiculous like 80 quid for that badge. No wonder some buggers nicked it. Um, I don't think it looks too bad with it as it is, to be quite frank with you. Opening up the driver's door. Right, so we have, you know, a little few nicks here where he's obviously caught the seat belt in the door. We have a little bit of wear on the sill there. Not, not, not a major drama. Your door card, driver's side. Again, pretty clean and tidy in there. Electric windows and electric mirrors are there. Door shuts, pretty clean and tidy. Seats, driver's seat. Bit of wear, obviously, on the bolster there. Pedal rubbers are all looking good. Let's move that rubber, that paper mat out of the way. You can see your flooring's all pretty good. Have we got where's that bloody bonnet pull? Oh, there it is. Jeez. I think it was around there somewhere. I'll show you under the bonnet in a second. Um, vents. These vents are made out of chocolate, but um, this one's actually not too bad. Uh, cup holder's okay. Steering wheel. Steering wheel has wear and tear on it. It's kind of lost its little shiny fascia, hasn't it? But it, it still works. Um, <clears throat> fire it up so 98,009 miles just goes through its normal things obviously we've got the door opens and we haven't got a seat belt on and it needs a bit of fuel in it so those warning lights are on but other than that ticks over nicely uh, vent this side that's all looking pretty good vent that side's all looking or oh, is there is it, is it lost one of them but no I think that's all right actually um, in between your seats that's clean and tidy. There's no dust, toenails, or old McDonald's down there. And then just looking underneath your bonnet. Somewhere. Here's your bonnet, Paul. So, coolant. Coolant is the correct colour coolant um, for this van. And there's no contamination in there, that's all good. Uh, that is your brake fluid. Uh, we have oil filler there, dipstick is down there, power steering fluid is there, dipstick washer over there, um, but yeah, all pretty good under there. Now as I say, prep wise, 12 months MOT, 110 point PDI trick, 
we will do a full engine service on it so that will be engine oil filter oil air filter fuel filter and pollen filter uh, we will check the brakes on it before it goes out the door as well anything it needs doing we'll get that sorted out tires obviously as i've explained anything less than three millimeters we replace when it goes into the workshop um, there are 60 to 70 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today based in Worcester in the centre of the country, offering nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Um, there uh, you can check out our reputation online. We are on Google, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, all of that malarkey. And feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com. Thanks for looking at the video. 15 minutes of your life, you'll never get back, but... We get a lot of customers buying off these videos nowadays um, <clears throat> because, yeah, warts and all, aren't they? Thanks for looking. If I can be of any help, feel free to give me a shout. Cheers.